Mimi Jones here. Mm, Professor Jones to you. I am back. And in my previous video, we talked about notes. Now, I would love to talk about notes and their corresponding rests. So, just, you know, just as a recap, we know that a whole note looks like that big circle, right? Half note is a smaller circle with a stem, either up or down. Quarter note is a filled in circle with the stem up or down. The eighth note, same, filled in note, and then a stem, but it, it has like a little piece on the end. And then the 16th note, same thing, filled in with a stem, but it has two of those little guys on the end. So now, not to confuse you, but to make it very simple, there, in music, just like there are notes, you hear, um, you know, you hear a strike. You hear like someone play a note, play a chord, sing something. When they don't sing, when the music is going, that is called a rest. And so we need to notate when we're not playing. If it's not the end of the song, there are more notes coming after that. So a, a rest is, is similar, you know, it has the same respect as a note, okay? So right now, I just want to show you. So if we're in 4-4, four, four, and we'll talk a little later about meters and get you to understand that. But just think for now, we're in 4-4, four, four, and that's our whole note. Our whole note rest is going to look like that. If it were on the stem, it would be like literally like a hole that you could fall in if you were walking down the street. You could fall in. Think of it like that. Our half note is going to look like this guy here. Um, and the half rest kind of sits up on the line. And so think of it like if you trip over it, you're going to cut your toe in half. Terrible. But, yeah, it sits up. So the whole note sits down because you could fall in a hole. Half note, kick your toe. Um, the quarter note, my quarter notes rest look a little strange. But they look, if you go look at it in a book, how it's printed, you, could, you would recognize that. So the whole quarter note looks like that right? It's a filled in note, but the quarter note rest looks like that. So if I needed to do four, it would kind of look something like that. You'll figure out how to draw that. So these, I would be striking these beats and then I would wait these two because those are two rests, like one, two, three, four, and then I would go on. Here we have the eighth note example. Um, and I split the quarter in half if you remember down here, how uh, we split, they split the notes in half. So now this is how it would be notated on the staff, right? So if, if I wanna add a rest in there of that same notation, and if you write the eighth note, a single eighth note looks like that, a single eighth note rest looks like that. So maybe I would play this beat, I'll rest here, play these two, and I rest here and I play that. So it'd be like one and one and two and three and and. Okay. Now for the 16th note, you see it has the two stems. Um, and it looks like that as a single note. And that is how it looks as a rest. So one E and a rest E and. So hopefully this has been, you know, pretty easy to understand. And I will catch you later. Peace.